I want to know how long I've been here and what keeps me here. It kind of goes back to when I first got married in 1973. We, I got a job from the placement center at Purdue and it took me back to my hometown where, where I was born and raised in Cleveland, Ohio. And we lived there about a year and my wife said she didn't like the winters, the, the bad weather, the big city. She wanted to get back to the country back here to southern Indiana and so she said uh, are you coming or not and uh, that was 43 years ago so I guess I did I, I went and here I am and so uh, it's um, it's been a good move for us and uh, I'm glad we did it some of my favorite things about about the area like it's been said in many of the other interesting videos of members is that it's a small town, but it could be a big town, and you're, you're nearby other towns and cities that you could go to within a couple hours to, to get to other things that you would like. So I, I think it's a, it's a great place to raise a family. Uh, it's where we, I raised my two sons, and uh, although one of them doesn't live here anymore, he's up in Indianapolis, but uh, it's uh, basically... There's a lot of variety here, and I think uh, if someone was looking for, for a new place to live, I think they'd be happy here. Okay, what got me into photography? It's probably my father. He had an old, I think it was an Argus camera. He used to shoot slide film back then. That was bef way before digital, and I, I started on film back in the day. And uh, so I think seeing him with a camera kind of got me interested in it. Uh, I've had everything from a little brownie Hawkeye camera with flash bulbs and film and you didn't know what you got until you got it through, through the processing and from there as things progressed through the, through the film age went from 126 or 110 and finally to 35 millimeter. And um, the, uh, when I got into 35 millimeter, I was probably high school age or a little older. And this may be a, you know, more of a question for later, but then I, uh, when I was in college, I actually worked on a school newspaper. Uh, I think I had a Mamiya Secor camera before even my first Nikon or graduated to Canon later. But, uh, so that's, probably what got me interested in it and how I and why I still do it. Ooh, I'd say that's probably the time wise. It was before I got married, so it had to be probably about forty eight years. I didn't start making money with it probably until my kids were little and I wanted to get some extra income. Uh, back then it was just I kinda went two different ways. I started out just for fun and then I said well you know I might be able to make some money with this while I'm doing it and you know help pay for some equipment or whatever so I uh, I said if I could take pictures of my own kids I could probably take pictures of other kids and that's probably what a lot of people come to realize they start taking pictures of their family and they said well I could take pictures of other people's families and and it just progresses on from there and so that's kind of my niche back then before it became popular was I started doing uh, preschools and, and sports teams and uh, looking back it it had its pros and cons and I, I think I'll, I'll wait and answer that in another area here and, and I'll elaborate on that a little more. My favorite things that I like to photograph is, is probably people, family. Uh, it seems like my kids always tease me that, uh, and I am critical of this myself, uh, is I take a lot of pictures of them when they're different activities or whatever, and then they say, well, where are the pictures? We haven't never, we don't ever see them. They're in my computer. <laughs> so that's, that, actually that's one of my goals for coming up later that I'm gonna try to get better at that. But, uh, and 
as I've progressed through my, through my years of, of photography, I've, I've, I never really got to do just fun stuff. It seems like I kind of was trying to go more the business route with it. And it, uh, so I kind of stopped doing some of the fun stuff. And the only time I picked up the cameras, if I could, you know, if I could do a job, you know, a swim team or a baseball team or a soccer team or, or whatever. And, uh, okay. I never really got into weddings very often. I've done a couple of them, but, um, so I've kind of swung the pendulum the other way now as I've gotten older now. I'm still taking pictures of family and stuff, and you know, and you just want to call them snapshots or whatever, you know, to record the occasions. But I'm I'm trying to get into some other areas like wildlife that I've that I've actually never done much of before. It's like learning learning something new all over again, and especially with the new equipment that's out there too. That, that that's a another thing that I've found, wound up finding out that uh, I thought I knew, knew my camera for 10 or 12 years, all of a sudden I buy a new camera and it's like, like I'm just an infant starting out again. Yeah, the question is how I feel about printing my work. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I shoot seems like it stays on the computer like I, like I mentioned. And although I do have some uh, canvas prints on the wall from some scenics I took in Alaska a few years back. and uh, but I'll print some out for the relatives and stuff. But it seems like over the years, you know, I did I did printing. Uh, I didn't do the printing, but the, you know, the lab did the printing. Uh, but I just don't seem to, in the digital age now, to get them on paper as often as maybe I should. I know a lot of people think that's really important because. If you if you don't have them out somewhere, who knows what will happen to that computer one day, and, and you'll never have a record of them. So that's probably something that I should do more of than I have been. Other thing that I've done with a lot of the photographs over the years too is I've made photo books for different people, you know, family and stuff. So that, that's how my mother, who's who's uh, 99, going on to 100 pretty soon. Uh, she lives, the grandkids and so forth, through through photos, in the books and pictures that I send her. So I guess I do send, I do print out some for her, because she's not here to you know see them in real life. What are my goals in photography, and what do I see myself doing five years from now? Um, as I've got into retirement in the last couple of years, a lot of the people that I thought what I'd be doing right now have also retired or moved on. And of course, everybody knows the saturation of, of, of photographers in, in our, our locale. So it seems like what I thought I was going to be doing right now, um, that's why I've kind of taken a different avenue on it. The people that I used to work with aren't there anymore, so I'm not doing much photography as as a profession. So I'm, I'm now kind of a goal, I guess, is, is just to do stuff that I want to do for fun. And uh, if the opportunity comes along where I can make some money, it would be nice to, to be able to buy a new lens or whatever. You know, I might I might do that, but uh, that um, uh, I kind of see that as a, what's going to probably wind up continuing unless, you know, some light bulb goes off and I come up with a you know, new idea that no one's thought of. And I said, well, I guess I got to do that. Okay. What camera equipment do I usually use? Well, going back to when I first got that first SLR uh, film camera, it, it was in college. It was a, a Mia C core and then kind of graduated into using Nikon equipment for a while. And I had a couple of those bodies I, uh, and some lenses. Uh, in fact, I still got a couple. Somebody was looking for some film equipment that uh, I could get rid of. Uh, I also had uh, medium format for a while. 
uh, Bronica 645. When I wanted to up my quality for even uh, the swim teams and, and you know the baseball pictures, I wanted something a little better quality wise. So I wound up, uh, I shot the individuals on 35 and then I, I put the, the team pictures on the, on the uh, Bronica. And then when I decided to go digital, few years back, I guess it's probably 10, 12 years ago now, uh, the research I did at the time said that Canon had a better equipment out at, and so I switched over to Canon and uh, st still have that first Canon that I got back then I, and I, just to, about a year ago was when I finally upgraded it. So I went from a a viewfinder on the back window about this big, you know, to one this big, and it's uh, a world of difference. And uh, so I still would like to upgrade some of the lenses that I have for the Canon so I could get some better bokeh and things like that in my pictures, you know, macro stuff to try to get into some of that. Tips for people starting out. Um, I guess you have to decide what you want to do as a photographer. If you want to, are you doing it just for yourself and your friends and family, or are you doing it to make money? Uh, one piece of advice that I think that I would give is it's something that I did it gets a little emotional uh, let me get my composure back don't lose sight of things that are important in your life uh, I love my photography but I think at times in the past looking back and you know, I have many years to look back on it where some of you have just been doing it for four or five years, it's a little different. But family is very important. I've learned, and many of you know my history, I'm not going to go into that at this point. But uh, so, what I'm trying to, advice I'm trying to give, I guess, is that if you enjoy it, do what you want to do, but don't forget about the other things also. Um, when my kids were growing up, playing t-ball, so forth, I I wasn't there to see a lot of their games because I was out taking pictures of other kids, other people's family, which was you know a good thing for them because you know somebody had to do it, and you know they now have the memories. I have people come up to me to this day; they'll pull out a trading card out of their wallet and say, "Isn't that your name on the bottom of this?" You know, and this is back you know thirty years ago, but. I, you know, I kind of now see, because I go to every one of my grandkids' ball games, that, you know, I miss some of that with my kids. So, uh, you know, that's one thing that, you know, that I've mentioned is that, you know, be sure to, you know, have some balance so you, you, you don't lose out on some of those times that you, that you may look back on and feel bad that you, you missed them. On a scale of one to ten, where do I see myself? Uh, one being someone that just picked up a camera for the first time, and ten being a photographer for National Geographic or something. Um, at one point, I guess I would would have said I was a five or a six, but I think with the new equipment and the learning curve that I'm going through, even after it's almost a year with the, with the new stuff. But I need to uh, say that I probably back down to about a three or a four. Uh, I don't know if that's true or I'm being too hard on myself, but uh, the um, it's too easy sometimes to just kick back in the recliner and. And watch whatever 
stuff's on the on the on the tube or flat screen now and uh so I, I probably need to get myself more in the habit of watching some of the programs and things that I've purchased in you know training for Lightroom or or just reading the manual for my camera things like that 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 I I've I kind of get into it for a little while then I'll then I'll stop and I'll you know just try to go out and and, and apply some of it but uh, so that's probably how I kind of rate myself and it probably gets into our next question here in a minute too but yeah probably what do I struggle with the most as a photographer is I'd say probably a couple things I don't know if I can name one thing and I've mentioned before is is to get my photos out of the computer and on the wall or in a book or or you know sent the mail to my mom or, or something sometimes I, I just don't do that as well as I should uh, it didn't seem like when I was doing more things for money some people say they have they struggle with the business side I that kind of came natural for me I didn't have any problem with that I print up my own order forms and and you know work with the labs and, and all that kind of stuff back in the day when you had a send, send well now you still can use labs but I, you know for your professional prints but back then you know you just you sent had to send your film in and but all that busy work seemed to you know come pretty easy but uh, I guess more nowadays it just seems to uh, struggle with the ideas of you know the technology and trying to keep up with it.